see you. I understand you have a very basic strategy for design, whether it's inside or outside. Yes, I've taken my philosophy and I've created five basic personalized principles. And what are they? And the first one, which, okay, get ready for this one. I call it a clutter-free zone. Clean up the clutter. Get rid of it. Donate it. Throw it away. And it's amazing that most people, when they do that, they find that they have a new space and they don't even need a decorator. <laughs> it changes that much. Absolutely. So first thing is you have a nice clean canvas. That's the first thing. Okay. The second thing is color. Color does so much to evoke emotions. All right. But I call it personalized because I've studied color and like for instance, blue is supposed to calm you. Well, certain blues don't calm me. So what I say is you take a piece of art, a wonderful piece of wardrobe, a rug, and whatever moves you, those are the colors that make you feel good. Red is passion. Passion. Yellow is happy and sunshine. Exactly. Or it might be different for you. You know, red you. might be depressing, whereas blue might make you happy. Okay. So you need to determine that. That's why I call that personalized color. Great. Okay, so clutter-free. Now we have uh, color. color. The next thing, oh my goodness, is furniture. Most people freak out <laughs> about furniture. Why? Well, it's overwhelming. You go into a showroom, you see it beautiful, you buy it, and it doesn't fit into your space. So what I say is, when you have a space, just live in your space for a while. It'll talk to you. First rule, functionality. So for instance, let's say you're sitting watching television, you've got a glass, you put it up. Oh. I'm going to need a table here. Table. Right? Okay. Or if you find a spot that you like reading, oh, I need more of a reclining, comfortable chair here. Or a light. Or a light. So see I what I mean? That. The space and your lifestyle in the space will dictate what you need for furniture. Don't rush out and do it Don't right away. Keep it simple and easy. Don't do that. Because that's nine times out of ten, you're going to waste money and make a big mistake. The next one are our senses. The sense of smell, of sight, and of sound. And of course, sound like we have this beautiful waterfall, waterfall here. here. And then you have smell, fresh cut flowers, oh, yeah. our herbs. It, our herbs, thank you very much. Or even scented candles. I love scented candles. But once again, something that just makes you feel good. And it's very personalized. So whatever smell makes you feel good, you introduce that into the space. And you do that through accessories. Okay. Okay. Right. And then the last one, I love this one. The last one is called luxury consciousness. That sounds expensive. And it's not. I know most people <laughs> are like, no, no, you guys, it's not. Luxury consciousness, the way I define it in these principles is everything that you love, everything oh. that evokes whatever, whether it's a, your grandma's Afghan or whatever, anything that when you look around, I love it. It evokes this wonderful, beautiful, warm feeling inside That's of me. Great ideas, Phyllis. And all of those principles, what it equals is I feel good. It's a space to rejuvenate and just relax and feel good about yourself. <laughs> Find more at fineliving.com. Real information for real people. I love this room, and what I really love is modern. But it's really hard to get things that are modern with a soft edge as well. That was that really well. That was my biggest challenge. To pull the design off. Phyllis makes contemporary pieces with uniquely designed furniture. So you end up with a lot of custom pieces then? I'd say 90% of each item you see has been custom made. Custom comes with a price. This room's cost over $31,000. How was it spent? This started out as my inspiration. I love the juxtaposition of the hard metal and the soft curve of the arches and then the soft circles. Custom fabricated of brushed zinc it costs $6,500. And what this is called is TV entertainment truck. You'll see wonderful, very industrial metal legs with big tires. Another custom design with sandblasted glass doors. The cost, $4,000. The rug and that sofa really add a sense of warmth and inviting atmosphere. I love the curved lines of the furniture and the simple color scheme with those punches of orange. Hi. 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 I'm Phyllis. I'm Phyllis. Phyllis met with Debbie and Dana first to get a sense of their tastes. Phyllis loves using color and space to create lavish and luxurious rooms. If you could have your dream, what would this room feel like? Okay, guys, you've got the whole design studio at your disposal. Great. But before you start designing, you guys have to agree on a paint color. 
Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of contemplating a very classic Hollywood, so classic colors for me. I'm thinking about doing sort of a clubhouse. Um, okay. Uh, game space. Classic is fine, because I, there's, a, there's a big range I can go. No, no, no right. I want subtle, sophisticated. Okay. How about, something... how about if we use these colors right here? What? Look at this color right here, mannered gold. You know what? I'm cool with that. What about the ceiling? I think the blonde, we're going up two, so we're adding a little white twice. You know what? I think the blonde would be I great. I think that's nice, and since I pretty much forced you into mannered gold, I will completely do the blonde. I think well, that's Well, you great. guys are getting along fabulously together, but now it's time <laughs> for me to split you up. So oh, you're right. to start designing. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Go to your okay. corners. Go to your corners. The winner comes <laughs> out. Craig and Phyllis will now each design rooms they think the homeowners will like the best. So, Phyllis, how's it going? This is the theme I came up with. Okay. Old classic Hollywood. So one of my key things is beautiful ruby red drapery on the back wall, flanking the screen. This seating right here I think is perfect. It's a rich, rich brown leather. I thought Phyllis was high energy. I like her. You can have them either sandwiched together, so it's two people cozy watching together, or you can have them separate. So are you going to do any kind of entertaining area? Aww. The other half of the room, I'm going to make an adult wine tasting area. Four bar stools, uh, maybe two, I don't know. No, four. Can I don't know if all this is going to fit into my truck. I'll make it work. I love this. Oh, oh good. I'll, I'll put this over here. Oh, I can't wait. I can't Hello. wait. Look in their eyes. Okay, Look I can't tell. Eyes. How can you tell? I can't tell. <laughs> you both okay. great. You both did a great job, Craig. We loved your room. It's fabulous. But we're going with Phyllis because she made me cry. <gasps> <gasps> I know. I heard. <laughs> Movers, bring those 69 back in. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy it forever. Oh, yeah. oh. We're living with soul here on TV One. Finally. A style show that's all about you. It's celebrating African-American art, culture, and design. Designer Phyllis Bowie takes decorating to a whole new level. This show shows you how to spin smart and live lavishly. Make your house the home of your dreams. Here we are. Let the design inspire you. Define your own style and start living with soul. Coming soon to TV One. Come on. I feel at home in a space like this. I love going through the fabric. I love measuring my window, taking it to a drapery maker. I realize some of you might not feel that comfortable. But do not be intimidated of coming to a space like this. Consult with the salespeople. Tell them you're on a budget. To create the look George had, we looked for a drapery fabric with rich color and casual elegance. 